Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. Today we're in Scottsdale, Arizona, and I met Kelly Castle, and he's got a car, well, fit for a king. Kelly, what year make and model is this one? It's a 1969 Ford Thunderbird two-door Landau. And you're gonna see what that Landau means, well, right now. So as we take it, and we look at the side of this car, the amazing thing, first of all, great hubcaps, as you can see, but take a look at the back window that's well non-existent. We put it in the sun. Kelly, what's the color of this? This is called Copper Flame Metallic. Copper Flame Metallic, very classy. Let's get a closer look at some of our pieces on this car. Number one, you've got that big Landau, <laughs> non-mistakable emblem there. And there's actually, you can see the vinyl inside that piece. So it's there and there. And then that great Thunderbird piece right there. And then we've got this hubcap here, as you can see, along with, in 68, they started the marker lights and they actually put that nice custom Thunderbird there. And look how tight the back bumper is, almost molded to the car. And we'll actually turn it around for you later to show you that, but you can see how flat that is right back there. So we'll show you the back in a second. Massive door. No mirror on this side, beautiful tinted glass, double ventilation as we come up to the front. And let me show you that from the side. That is one flat front end. Massive turn signal light, so when you turn, that comes on, correct? To light the side. Yeah, to light the side. So you're going to get massive lighting. How many 69s Kelly do you see? Not too many. They're they're rare. All, all of the 67, 8, and 9, there's not a whole lot of them left. They, they were crushed in the 80s, pulled the motors, put them in Mustangs, so a lot of them disappeared. You see a lot of 66 on back, but uh, after that, there's not too many around, so I, I kind of like these. Models. Yes. Now, tell me why Tell me why you like this model. What, what made you a Thunderbird guy? I had them back in the early 80s out of high school. Nice. They were, they were cheap cars back then. They were three, four hundred dollars. Yeah. And, uh, I, and then I got rid of them, and then about six, seven years ago, I wanted to start buying them again. And I started with the four-door 67 Thunderbird, and then bought a few 68s, and then I acquired this a couple of years ago. So I have one of each year of that generation. What year did you get this one? I bought this one two years ago. Two years ago. What a great find. Let's pop the hood on this, shall we? We've got a nice treat there. <laughs> yeah. The 429 Thunderbird for Venturi. 4V, as in Ford Victory. Is this, well, I mean, we're going to take it for a ride. Is this qu pretty quick? It's pretty quick. Yeah, that, that has about 365 horse. Now, we're in Arizona. Did it, uh, let me just feature some things. Did it originally come with air? It did not come with air. I put factory air into it. You put factory air into it. Okay, so you put the factory air in. That looks like factory air. What do you do that makes um, I had this? to. Well, it was it was made to be fitted with air, so I had to put a new evaporator in it. I had to buy one of those. I had to buy lines from a, a wrecked car in a junkyard and have yeah. them rebuilt. Buy a condenser from the junkyard. Yeah. Put it in. Uh, buy a new compressor. And, Which looks uh, Ford correct. Yeah, it's correct. So, and then, uh, you know put all the lines in, they back and recharge it. And then of course I had to get the new controller from another car that had air because the ones without air just say vent. Okay. This one says AC, so you have to have that feature on there. You have the skill set to do this? Yes, I have a shop, Kelly Castle Automotive. Yeah, a little plug in North there. Phoenix. North and Phoenix, the, one more time. Uh, Kelly Castle Automotive, it's my name. It's, do you do uh, new cars as well as old? We, we work on mostly newer cars, yes. All right, perfect. But we do some classics. Well look, people, so. you just met Kelly if you're out yeah. in this area. Okay, great, go to his shop. Beautiful. All right, what a nice guy. Instantly says, I want to share cars with Lou on the car story. That's the kind of car guy you want your car to be worked on. It really is, especially something like this, because that looks like it came from the factory. That is really, really well done. Try to keep it original. Try to make it look as original as possible. This has been added, but they didn't have peak tanks, so we a lot of cars you have to add them. But this is the best spot to put it. Yeah, it looks uh, great. If you put it here, you'll see it through the grill. So I like to put it. You're right, right there. Let's do a couple of things. Let's fire it. Okay. We'll let it idle, 
We'll give it a rev, but while I'm up front, let's turn the headlights on. Let's show them how those work too, all right? So let's fire it first. Headlights, and then it goes I will, but I'm going to close the hood if you don't mind. i got to get that look. But listen to that. Kelly, you do good work. This thing is, like, super quiet. Let me have you close the hood. I don't want to slam anything and break anything. Although you could fix it. Go ahead. Thank you. All right, let me show those headlights opening. Go ahead. I think one's kind of slow, but... That's all right. That's how they were. That's exactly how they used to be in 69. One winking at you and then one... Can we shut them? And that's how they used to close, too. One would go down, the other one would figure it out. Yeah. Just like that. All right, we're gonna let it idle. While I'm letting it idle, can we turn, I'm sure you got sequentials, right? Yes. Can I share those with you? Just do the left or the right. Oh, that's beautiful. We'll talk about the back in a second. Let's, uh, let's listen to the 429, shall we? Let me have you give it a rev. but yet quiet. Yeah, I like it with the resonators. It's a little quieter, but... Uh... Yeah, exactly. All right, well, we're going to turn it around. Although we've turned it around, you see there's a reason why I've come right here in the glove box, and it's because it has that word trunk right there. So you're going to see what happens when we hit that button. So if I come back here, and as I told you, we turn it around so you can see it in the light, and we come right back here, and Kelly pushes that button, well, that's what it's going to look like in the trunk. So as you can see, we just opened it without the hands because the button is inside the glove box. We'll show you that later when we do the interior. But here, as you can see, is your jack stowage. You've got enough room in here that you can hear my echo. Nicely carpeted, as you'd expect in a Thunderbird. More information on the jack stowage little Ford Motor Company information there about the Safety Act. Basically, don't keep your kids in the trunk. And we'll go back to the car. And we're back. So, Kelly, show me one more thing on this Thunderbird. We've already looked at the sequential taillights. Wonderful how they have these jewels mm -hmm. in there. Show me where the gas goes. Well, the gas is right here. So, what is this? That's the trunk to use the key. Ah, I thought that was going to be where your gas was. And the backup was. lights are right here. They're hidden oh, in 69. Yeah. You can barely see them. Now you see, see that, since we've got it in the back, you can see that. No. I've got and it. And the okay. fuel doors here like it is in the other years. Okay. Perfect. I understand. Okay. And these caps, are these? These are 1970. Okay, I, 70 caps. Yeah, so I like the gold with them, but I, I've got the 69 original ones, which are just the standard ones, and these are a little more luxurious looking. These these oh, are for freaking. May I open it? Yes, go right. All right, ahead. thank you. So as we open it right off the bat, we'll show you how the sun gets in there. We have that sticker there, that badge. And then here's, Kelly, can I have you hold that door for a second? Because it wants to close, we're on a little bit of an angle. Thank you. There, you're right. Well, that's great. So you have a big Thunderbird there, not to miss. There's your door handle, power, mirror, your pedals. I just want to get that way, where it says disc brake on it. You're greeted to the word Thunderbird. Now, you're going to love this back seat. Can you pop that for me? I'm just going to pull that. Go ahead. Thank you. Check out your couch that's how you do it boy kelly this thing in high school i don't want to imagine i'll tell you right now all right that just uh we'll just leave that there all right i'll put your coat back there and as i'm showing these seats i notice we've got power everything on this bucket it's got the overhead no. convenience lights 
Oh yeah, I will feature those. So let's just start with this. That, that steering wheel is not broken, by the way. That steering wheel is pushed off to the side. So when you get in, that moves over. So you conveniently come into the car, as you can see. And then what happens? You just pull it down. And just like that. And it's upside down because we have the wheel turned. <laughs> not because it's actually upside down. And it also tilts in nine positions. Oh, is that right? Go ahead. Oh, nobody won't. Okay, that's all right. Because we're not on or something. So you see lights. You can see how that says all the information there. It says 31,000. That can't be original. I was going to say. I mean, it could be original, but... And then this, this is your bright light. High beam. Too. High beam for the Thunderbird. Yeah. Love the gauges. Really well done, nice depth to them. Very luxurious feel. Your Philco AM radio. Now, we have the ignition is down here. Yes, they actually, you have to look for them because they're kind of hidden but that is the ignition on wow. 68 share 16. with me what this is this is a little cubby oh wow um some of these came with eight track and so you can put eight tracks in here oh put, very good yeah and then you have your ashtray here ashtray lighter and then there's another glove storage here oh, wow cool and your for your seat belts yes the seat belts stay in here um and then you have a glove box of course here <laughs> a for, glove box there which is where our truck just no piece cup, is no cup holders that's the only <laughs> no drawback cup holders and notice that vent has the Thunderbird in the middle of it. Well, Kelly, stay right there. I think the only thing that we've got this. Oh, let me not forget this as you shared. So what do we have here? Uh, seat belt reminder, door ajar if the doors aren't closed all the way, low fuel, and then uh, the if the headlights are left on, there's a buzzer on 69 nice. that buzzes. And then power antenna's here. Power antenna, okay. And is it functional? It does function. So it's up there. As you can see. Kelly, I think we got to take it for a ride. All right. So I'm here with Kelly, and I wanted to just show you something with that steering wheel. Show us how that does when the door opens. So as soon as you open the door, Boing. it's out of your way. Just Some of the Mustangs and like Cougars had it as an option, and it was an option on 69. But, but and then once you shut the door, you just pull it down. And for Thunderbird, that's how it was. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Just like that. Yep. All right. Very cool. Let's uh, take this bird for a ride. Get a little opening and we'll let the bird fly, sure. Let's let this guy get past us. So how does it feel? What's the reaction when you're driving this thing? Um, some people don't notice it. Some people are like thumbs up, you know, they're, they're yeah. like, what year is it? You know, they're trying to figure out what it is. Do they um, do what I do, like run over to it? Sometimes they do. Yeah. Sometimes they're like, my dad had that, or my mom, my right. dad had that car. So. Well, you just don't see it anymore. No, they're just really rare, and uh, it's kind of sad because they, they they're like a baby Lincoln. They drive like a Lincoln Continental. Yeah. They're very smooth. And, uh, yeah, you can see. People like to sometimes just take a little view of where we're at. This is perfect. We got the mountain in the background. If this ain't a drive, I don't know what is, right? Right. Super smooth. I can understand why you wanted this back. <laughs> this makes a lot of sense to me. And even like in the Landau's I'm noticing, look at the big rear light back there that lights the whole back end of the car. Yeah, this is a nice ride. Classy, sporty, luxurious, all things combined. And sure. nice color too. Yeah. Yeah, the color is really classy. And it gets 13 miles per gallon. So I live a mile from work, which is very helpful. Yeah, it's not bad, <laughs> not bad. Smiles per gallon. That's right. If we get a little open strip here, just, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, all, all four Venturi open there. Yeah, I didn't want to push it all the way Yeah, down. no, that, that, you just went to six miles per gallon, by the way, right, right. there, so. <laughs> that might be. I run out of road. Yeah, or run out of gas, one of the two. One of the two. That's great stuff right there. We'll show them just a little more to our ride and we'll head it back to the, uh, yeah, we'll head back to the uh, car show and we'll take it back that way. Well, look at the beautiful Arizona background. That's just the way it should be.
Kelly, any uh, Thunderbird stories that you want to share as we wrap this up? Uh, there's a lot of them. But, uh, <laughs> Anything that comes to mind? You know, back in the day, I just remember buying them for really, really reasonable prices and fixing them up and learning how to work on them, and it was a lot of fun. And uh, I always wanted one again. So in 2016, I found a 67 four-door. That was the first one I bought in Mesa. Yeah. I still have it. Nice. I, I drive them left. Yeah. Because we'll actually make a little extra left at the first stoplight. Do a U-turn? Well, yeah, we could do that. Does it have that turning radius? No. We'll find out. We'll find out. There's our green, chance. I have a green arrow. All right. I don't know. Let's see what the turning radius is. Go ahead. I don't think. I, I don't All right, go ahead. <laughs> I was going to say pretty large. Well, because there's a car there. Yeah, no. We could pull up right at this next light and get a turnaround. We'll be fine. Yeah. Some of the adventure. Of my car story with Lou. If that car wasn't there, I would have tried. Yeah, it. we would have pulled it off. But, so I can't uh, do a U here, but I'll pull it in. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll get back to the car show. Stay tuned. <laughs> so back to your story. So you're saying you got the 67. Right, and then I bought a 68 four door, or 67 four door black uh, Thunderbird, which I've already sold. I, I've used it for more parts. And yeah. And I bought uh, my gold 68. Then I bought a red 68 in, in Tempe, and I restored that. I still have that. And then I bought um, the turnaround right up here. What's okay. what's the reason why those years? Is it just the high school connection? Yeah, you yeah. know, when I got back into that '67 and I I test drove it, it was like yeah. it was 1980 all over again, and it was the coolest. Here's feeling. our turning radius. Go ahead. Let's see if it pulls it off. Oh yeah, no problem. That was worth staying tuned for. Okay, yeah. go ahead. So um, I just. It, it's more nostalgia for me, and of course in 1980, I remember thinking, gosh, if I could just go back 13 years, I could be around when they were new. You know, yeah. I was too young. I was probably four or five years old. Um, so it, These cars turn us back into kids again. They do, and that's really all it's about. Um, they're just cars, but it, there's some nostalgia. I love the old owner's manuals and finding stuff in the... The history of the car is very interesting to me, where it came from. Who owned it? Some of them have name tags on them from the Ford used to put a personalized name tag yeah. on them. I turn right here. Yes. So, uh, I like the historical part of it. That part of it is very interesting to me. And I like to bring it back to original, or close to original, what they should be. I don't like it when they have mags and blowers out the Yeah, hood. no. I think it kind of takes away from them. No, it takes away from the whole feel of what, what it was that you had. Right. No doubt about it. Well, Kelly... What a treat. Thanks for jumping in the car with me and just allowing us the video. And I'm glad that you've been watching the channel or recognize my voice. Yes. And uh, it was a lot of fun getting the chance to ride it. It's super Thunderbird, as you can see. Just wonderful cruiser. We're going to make a left right here. Yep. We'll make sure we get back. Thanks, Kelly. Thank you.